Hello what's up Ali here and on this video we will show you how to use remote play on our jailbroken PS4. You can follow this video if you are on firmware 5.05 to 11.0 and as per request we will also address the issue of not being able to use the DualShock 4 on our PS4 when using remote play. So let us proceed with the video and enjoy remote play on our jailbroken PS4. For this, we are going to need uh, two applications, the Kiyaki and the Apollo Save tool. Both links can be found on our description. Let us start with the Kiyaki. So just open the link and here you can find the applications that you can use uh, either for Android or for Windows. So you can actually follow this video if you want to have a remote play using Android or Windows. And since we are going to use this on a Windows or a PC, this is the one that we are going to download but if you are using an android you can go ahead and download this you can also use this on linux and on mac os so let us go ahead and download the application for the windows and now for the apollo save tool this will allow us to activate a psn account on a jailbroken ps4 so just go ahead and open the link scroll down and click on this part to download the file this version of Apollo Save tool will now work even on the firmware 11.0. Now for the two applications, we need to transfer our Apollo Save tool in our external hard drive or USB and install it to our PS4. And for the Kiyaki, we will need this on our PC. Now let us go ahead and install our Apollo Save tool to our PS4. After installing, let us go ahead and access this application. You don't have to be connected online for this, so all you have to do is just download, install, and run the application. Now here in the application, go to the user tools, and you can choose activate PS4 accounts. But before we proceed to this, I strongly recommend to create a specific PS4 user just for the sake of the remote play. Don't use an existing PSN account or PS4 user for the remote play. So just go ahead and press and hold the PS button. Go to power, switch user, create new user. Let us go ahead and uh, name this test. Now go back to the Apollo Save tool, User Tools, Activate PS4 Accounts, and choose the account that we have just created for the sake of remote play. Now you can actually go ahead and take note of this account ID. Then press R2 and you should see this message. Now we have to restart our PS4 for the account to take effect. Now as you can see here, the username is now on italic. That indicates that this user has now an activated PSN account. Now let us go ahead and use this PS4 user. Activate the jailbreak, then go back to the Apollo Save tool. Now if we go back to the user tools, activate PS4 accounts, you will see here that on our account test has some characters indicating that it already has an active uh, PSN account. Now let us go back to our PC and run the Chiaki. Open the extracted folder. Run this application, click on plus, 
Now here on the host, we have to get the IP address of the PS4. On this part, our PS4 has to be connected on a router to be able to use Kiyaki. Now let us go back to the PS4 and go to the network settings. Set up internet connection. Use LAN cable. Custom. Automatic. Do not specify. And on the DNS, click on manual. Use this DNS. Next. Automatic. Do not use back. View connection status. And enter the IP address on the host on the Kiyaki. Then save. Double click here. Check on broadcast. And here on the PS4 firmware, you have to check your firmware. So if you are on 9.0 and higher, click this. If you are on 7.0 to 8.0, check this. And if you are on 6.72 and lower, check here. If you are on 9.60 and higher, you should go ahead and check this as well. Now for the PSN account, we need to convert the PSN ID that we got from the Apollo Save tool to Base64. To do that, open the link on our description. Now let us go ahead and copy the PSN account ID that we got from the Apollo Save tool. Then paste it here, then click on convert. Now we can either copy this or hit on download. But just to be sure, let us go ahead and choose download. And now for the output, let us go ahead and copy this. And paste it here on the PSN account ID base64. And now for the pin, we have to get this on our PS4. So let us go back to our PS4. Go to the remote play settings. Then add device. Now go ahead and enter this on the pin then hit on register if you get an error that simply means that your windows firewall is blocking the connection so just go ahead and grant access on this now go ahead and try again now as you can see here our ps4 is finally connected to the kiyaki and we are now able to use remote play click ok here and double click on the window so the one on my upper right is using my capture card and the one on the lower left is my chiaki now we have mentioned earlier that there is an issue where you can't use a dual shock on your ps4 when connected to a remote play that happens when you use your account for remote play because when logged into remote play the controls is in your pc or on the system that you are using for remote play in our case the control on this account is on our pc so to be able to use dual shock 4 we have to connect it on our pc and that is the reason why i advised earlier to just simply create a different user for the sole purpose of remote play so after logging in to remote play you can simply log in another user on your ps4 using a ds4 this way you can use your ds4 on your account so to summarize always create a user for the sole purpose of logging in to the remote play so that you can use your ps4 user or your account to log in and play your games using your ds4 so this will be it for now if you have any questions or suggestions or encountered any issues you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and again my name is ali if you find this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on our next video Bye bye